is the second painting of this series. And what this painting is based on is actually a tombstone in a very famous cemetery called Père Lachaise, and it is located in Paris, France. And I was there visiting and taking pictures, very surprised at all the commotion around a very small tombstone, which happened to be a very famous rock singer named James, or Jim, Morrison. So here is his tombstone, James Douglas Morrison, and the dates are 1943 to 1971. And I was taking pictures of all these youth congregating as if it was some shrine. And what was so amazing is that these youth brought all sorts of flowers and were marking or had marked on other tombstones arrows saying, Je me vivant et je me va revenir, which in French means, well, in English it means, Jim is alive and Jim is coming back. So when I was taking pictures of them, I didn't think I would eventually use this idea in a painting. But when I saw the painting of Nicolas Poussin, where he has a very beautiful Jesus, healing two blind people in his painting called Healing the Blind at Jericho, I thought, well, these young people are definitely blind and they need to be healed. So I decided then to take this Jesus and put it in a modernized context, this painting, Jesus and the Two Blind Men, and then have a message saying, Jesus wants to speak to you today. He is the one who is alive, and he is the one who is coming back. Jim Morrison, who sang for the doors, he died, either by overdose or suicide, and is buried in the cemetery. Jesus, we can't find his body, and we have based our faith on the fact that he rose from the dead, and he is coming back. So that's why I decided in this painting to also put a very narrow door to realize more in understanding that even though Jim Morrison played for the doors, Jesus Christ is the door by which we can find salvation. So that was the original intent of this particular painting. And then, like I was mentioning for the first painting, this vision-like experience opened my eyes to what I actually was painting, which was, I was this young man. I was blind. I was just as blind as these two people. But what kind of blindness? It was a spiritual blindness. And to what? Well, what I realized was, there were three tombstones, just like there were three ghost-like disciples in the first painting. Here, I have actual three tombstones. So what was I doing? I was saying, Gwen, you were molested three times, and there was no burial. Because for a child, a molestation is like a death. So in my subconscious, I was giving myself a burial. And then there was a deeper meaning still for me to see. Because out of all the flowers that were around this tombstone, I only picked two little roses with a little message that someone had written around the stem. And when that came alive, this part of the painting, when I realized what that meant, it was having me go back to an abortion that took place in the year 1971. And if you had asked me, Gwen, do you remember the exact date of that abortion? Because I was so traumatized by it, I didn't even want to think about it. And I would not have been able to give you the date. But my subconscious saw that date and said, that's the tombstone you need to give for that unborn child. And why two roses? Because I was two months pregnant. And the little message around it was, God, can you forgive me? And so this painting God used to bring to me a, an awareness of my need to understand, first of all, how I was traumatized by the molestation and I had a lot of anger and grief about it, and also the guilt and shame that I had concerning the abortion. And once again, Jesus 
wanted me to see him as my healer and truly my savior. May this give you hope for whatever is haunting you and whatever may be giving you shame.